have a good time. Relax and enjoy yourself. Okay? Because not everything we're going to do is agrees with you. But it works great for me. I've been doing this for a long time. And the kicking techniques work great for me because of my strength, my, my flexibility, my balance, and also my psychological outlook. So what I want you to do is just understand the idea so you can kind of play with it. Take two fists. Just bend over, put the fist flat on the floor in front of you. Now, if you can't reach that, it's okay. Keep your legs straight. Bottom out straight. Just hang on to the chest. Okay. Now, walk it back to the heat. Now, drag your hand. Back your hands up floor in front. <laughs> and relax, stay there, stay there, just relax your hand. What we're doing now is warming up those muscles. We're not putting a bad strain on them or a bad tension and so forth like this. We're just putting a little bit of tension on it. So number one, your heart rate speeds up. When your heart rate speeds up, it's pushing nice warm blood into that muscle. And we're not like Grab your ankles, pull your head down just a little bit. Now what we're gonna do very slowly now is just relax, <laughs> take the legs a little bit out at a time, just a little bit, so the muscle relaxes as we're doing it. Keep your right leg exactly where it is, don't move it at all. The only leg you're gonna move is your left. And as you scoot it out, you're just gonna scoot forward like this. Scoot forward a little bit at a time like this, okay? But we're gonna take our time so the muscle gets tired. When I stretch, I think of the three T's. Very simple. The first T is temperature, getting that muscle warmed up real good. The second T is tension, putting tension on the muscle, which we're gonna do real soon. And the third T, probably most important of all, is holding it there for a certain length of time. So the muscle gets tired, and when the muscle gets tired, it has to relax. Don't push it too much, we're gonna do 10 of these. So if you're already out there, you got eight more to go. It only hurts in your mind, you just think. Pain really doesn't hurt, it's just a figment of your imagination. Except it kills you. Keep your back Very good 
strength and exercise for your obliques and your rectus femoris. That's the first part of it, I forgot to tell you that. The second part of it is you'll throw 15 very, very, very slow roundhouse kicks. Then after that, you'll throw 30 quick roundhouse kicks. All of this is without putting your foot down. It grabs hold of me nice and tight. The first command, knee up. I get my knee up in a high roundhouse kick position. Now the knee doesn't lower from here. Out, and I just hold it here, not touching anything. I just hold it for a couple seconds. And then back. Knee stays up if you notice. Out, and back. Then 15 slow roundhouse kicks. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then you throw thirty quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, and one more good measure. Down. Your turn. Don't touch anything. Make it heavy. We'll see how it is. It's an end. It's an end. Out. Point the toes. Strike with your hands. And ten. Slow. Out. What you get for being so big? <laughs> Eleven. Out. And twelve. Out. 13, out. So what happens now when he blocks is, that's my movement, that's what I want to create. It's like, yeah, how many times you ever slap a cheap foot in a little box back before you join, you go, bang. And that's the same type of thing you know, I want you to think about. It. But now that first initial protection is Now, the thing of it is, for me to come from here and go, Come in here and kick. He might get out of the way or he might move to get out of the way, right? Or defend. What I want you to think about now is being sneaky and quick. Is being sneaky and quick. So what I'm going to simply do here, throw a kick right here. How come he didn't hit me? How come he didn't hit me? Because I moved. Why? why? Why did I move so I wouldn't get kicked? Because what did he do first? He moved at me first. If we're standing here, now we're kind of neutral right now. But the minute I go, Dad! He says, well, here he comes, and he wants to get out of this, he wants to get out of the way to keep that safe distance between us. Whether it be a boom or boom or whatever. So I have to find somehow to get sneaky with that distance. Take your time, find that here. So now watch what happens. I'm going to do the same thing you did, except I'm going to change it. All it is very simply is here. Now you block this. <laughs> Why do you put your hand down there? I get a shot at it anyway. Okay, good. Now you notice how he's up. That's all I ask him. from here now. It's very simply from here. That's all I want. Got in, didn't it? Because number one, watch what happens. We all have a problem. Every one of us who's far from kicking each other is getting from here to here to the kick. This is the hardest part of the whole kick. Because I want to show you something. Now, watch what happens. I'm just going to throw this kick right here. You block it. Block me. You can't. So it's just, it's, the, it's that. You can't block that. So he says to himself, whoo. So what he's got to do is, is figure out that. So what do I do? I screw it up. Most of us are going to kick from that position. So when he slides up to kick at me, I'm just going to back out of the way because I see him move. Everybody sees him move before he kicks, right? You can't hide that. So why not just make it so evident that there's no sense in hiding? Newton's first law of motion. Sir Isaac Newton, you had him over here a long time ago. Most of you have read about him in school a little bit. He had a, about three laws of motion, three laws of movement. The first one is very important. A body at rest tends to stay at rest. And a body in motion tends to stay in motion. 
He's at rest. How much do you weigh? 11 stones? Okay, he weighs 11 stones. That means he's got all that weight to give him a dead stop to come at me. Call the nurse. So you come at me. When he does, I just walk around. Because he's going, yeah, I'm one of those things, right? So now put your hands up. Now I weigh probably a little bit more than you. I weigh 165 pounds, which is 14 stones, and I see my ground as well. I don't know. But anyway, you don't know what you know. But anyway, I'm going to do the same thing as you. Now you just back up if you see me kick. See, the main thing is now he's looking down. I got it. And that's all I ask for, too. Keep your hands up now so you can block it.
knees done everything else up to that, right? Watch. even worse because you'll throw 30 very quick roundhouse kicks all of this is without putting your foot down now depending on your flexibility and your strength is where you put the foot either to the belt level stomach stomach level <laughs> stomach level chest <laughs> chest level chin, nose, forehead, or whatever. I am fairly flexible, so my foot's gonna go right about his forehead. Makes me feel good to kick high and to hold it there forever and ever and ever. My partner gives me his hand. Your job is to hold me up. Arm is out straight. First command is knee up, be strong. Knee up. Now look at your knee, make sure it stays there the whole time. From this position, now, and I hold it here. And back. Keep the knee up the whole time. Out. And back. Out. And back. Then you'll throw 15 slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Then you'll throw 30 fast. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 7, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Back and down. Your turn. What I want you to consider now is very simply what boxers do. They dance. If I'm here, I'm going to throw a punch at you. The minute I start doing this, he sees that. But if I start doing this, you know, poof, kind of hard for him to defend that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw him a little roundhouse kick right here. <laughs> Just a real simple little roundhouse kick. You block him. I had one of these blocked back in 1893. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, though. I visited him in an hospital before he died. <laughs> okay, now watch. Now what happens now is I do this, I'm moving here. He's ready to react. He's ready to react. In the head. So what I care about is what he did to block it. Again, now watch how he blocks. Oh, he changes on me, which is okay. Which is okay. So now what I gotta do is now is get sneak. Get luck, that's my good job. So now, hmm. So I'll do it again. I get it in again. Wait. When you do that, you don't have to kick anymore. <coughs> I just keep kicking right there. He just makes me really mad. <laughs> huh. But what I want to consider now is creating. Is creating. So I'm here. Still getting it. Now, see how this block is coming around here? What does a roundhouse kick do? Listen. Huh? It's it comes around. That's why they call it what they call it. So what happens now when I'm here <coughs> and I throw this. So the next time I come in and I go boom, boom, and he changes by going back. So I say, what can I do to make it different? What I have to do is solidify one side and say, no matter what happens, he's got to think what's going on on this side. So what can I do? Go right there, I'm sorry. All I do is I go, hey, look, he, boom, right there. See what you did? This comes over here and he's just like, ah! <laughs> what he is going to react to is not that. He reacts to that. 
That's what he blocks. He blocks. I'm going to show you something. Don't worry about it. I want you to block this. <coughs> Ready? Because watch, he's waiting for my whole body to come. But what's coming? Just the foot. Just the foot. Just the foot. So it's very simply.
The knee is the pivot point. Watch. From here, step fly up, low kick, knee comes up, balance. Same thing, boom boom, low kick. Amazing. Pivoting is in the knee, not the hip. Okay? Because what happens now is from here, I'm not gonna go, but I can go, that's the one. Because <laughs> they are. They'll put the block right here, but then they'll say, no, that's not enough. I want the head to go further away yet, <laughs> where this is enough to suffice, right? You ever watch boxers? Anybody in your box? Anybody ever box? Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. I get you in a corner. Your hands are up to protect, right? Now, if he would shut his eyes, He's perfectly defended now, because I go wham, 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 wham. He's got everything blocked. The trouble is, most of them have their eyes open. So when I go, he does that, bam, on that side. Or I go, wham, bam, on that side. So what he does, he's perfectly protected and goes, I'm safer now. <laughs> and that's why they talk to you like this. <laughs> Because they want that superb safety. So when you go, yeah, that's where he wants to be as far away from that as he can be, which is over here. Somebody forgot to tell him about that. Boom! You ever want, watch, watch tonight. Watch it tonight with Bruno and Cotilla. They'll get in the corner and they'll start going, wham, wham. See, just like that. He's just, he's just standing there. Let me know when you're done. He's fine, but he'll go, wham, wham. See, he'll start doing, he'll go, he'll stop and he'll go, oh, but look at the chin now, <laughs> wham. So think about that. Okay, now what we're gonna do, watch. Very simply, is from here, watch the step. Step light up. That's all I wanna do, whoa, get that. See, I don't know I go, boom, and he go up to do it. That little thought is what I want. Boom. Slide up. And I go, hey, looky, looky, looky. From here now. Shoot. Boop. On that side. So what I do is I get him to defend against the hooky. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Wait. On that side. Again. Slow. <laughs> what else can I do? Oh, I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> From here. Slide up. Just lift it. See, he'll do it. See, don't move. See, he still will. Because it's like, oh God, it's gonna hurt. That little movement's all I want. Even if he doesn't move, what's he thinking about? That leg stuck out here. So he ceases to think what's happening over here. So what happens is, steps light up, up, fold, knee up, boom, and in. Now, if he blocks this, I just come underneath. From here, slide up. Up, hold, yeah. Because watch, he's here. Lean back. He's protected. Now is he? Plus you get that little floating rib going. Look at me right here. Go ahead and hit it. Because when you hit, he goes. Hard to fight when you can't breathe. Very difficult. So from here, boom, boom, clam. Or boom, boom. Underneath. Okay? The knee. Bam, bam, boom. Pivot, knee up, boom. And down. Slide up, up, pivot. Knee up, boom. Back, down. Slide up, boom, pivot, side kick underneath. Okay? So a lot of kickboxers, full contact people, and Point fighters now are training kickboxing or training boxing techniques because it helps them with movement. That's all, just with the movement. I've taken the same thing and started working it for my legs. Most of us say, okay, you come into the dojo, you dojang, and you say, okay, I'm here a couple minutes early. I'll practice some kicks. I'll throw 5,000 side kicks, 5,000 roundhouse kicks, 5,000 hook kicks. That's enough. I don't want to throw too many. Okay. 
There's a mirror right over there. Okay. I'm loose, okay. That's one. <laughs> you know, you threw that thing, you throw three or four and you might get something out of it. After the first 15 or 20, you could care less because you said, God, I'm throwing too many. What I want you to think about now is doing the same thing but sparring an imaginary opponent. Much like shadow boxing. Watch. Every time you lift that forward leg to kick, you're going to throw at least two kicks. I'm sparring with myself out here. I bow in, moving around. It's nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. But you're throwing combinations, not... こう入ってリーグブラ、どっちとかわからない。そのあ、足だけで蹴ろうとするから。ほら。こんな感じだから、分かりやすいんだよ、これ。腹も見ない。でも。うん。それがパーンと蹴ってくる。あ、あ、あ
que si yo no siempre voy a ir hacia mi objetivo, mi objetivo puede estar pegado acá, por eso es importante subir la rodilla al pecho, para poderle pegar objetivos cercanos, ok, es una patada cercana, por eso tengo que subir rodilla, entonces siempre recorte, arriba la rodilla, giro, para yoko o para mobash. Yeah. Well, just for training purposes. So, kick in, boom. Yeah. 
slow it down a little bit. And I'm still back a little bit, I'm going to see you And then, over the gym pitch kicking. Yes. So, oh, fine, position, fine, he goes back a little bit. So I'm saying, uh, jumping up again. www.goju.co.uk